Hello Aries, welcome to your bonus reading. My name is JD, this is a bonus love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And Aries, uh, you'll hear the birds, they're out running around at the moment. But tuning into your energy, so much coming through and I put a bit of glitter on because it's feeling a little festive, which I love to see for you. There is this new zest of energy. Venus is in Aries, so you're gonna be glowing. People are gonna be noticing. I mean, they always do, right, Aries? But it's like, you are just like feeling that that love it feels like there's this softness this heart chakra opening that's happening for you you know especially in the month of april um which is amazing because it's for your birthday happy birthday oh, i love aries i have so many beautiful aries friends and my mom my best friend of all is an aries so happy birthday to my mama as well aries tuning in there's been so much going on for you you know over the last few months really the every Aries reading it just shows this immense healing you know and what I saw tuning in was the image of the Phoenix rising and really that is what has happened because this deep cellular healing has happened you know in, in the foundational level in regards to it, it's it's like healing family issues uh, you know healing connection to money healing you know some of you have moved a location it's that grounding energy that has been completely transformed and here you are grounded with this new understanding of life and love and where you are in the world and going forward in this wisdom and self-care and self-love that you're rising like the phoenix aries what's happened is you've got this new uh insight you know it's like the cosmos has given you this insight for for angel numbers and i put the the angel here for you. Well, um, so, you know, it's giving you this new insight about the energies around you and how, you know, how, how it affects you. But also, I got the message that, you know, it's like you can't please everyone, Aries, but, you know, also puppies. <laughs> the birds are out just having a blast. Uh, it's like, I, I got this, it's like sometimes people are just a bit jelly. They're just a bit jelly. And <laughs> you're like, you know what? I'm just going to do me, Aries. It's that sort of vibe. And, you know, you're standing strong in your truth and, um, you know, your know-how. Because you've seen things, Aries, before other people do. You have such, you know, insight. But it's like you're approaching things in a different way. Look before you leap. And that's what it is. So that's really what this is. Um, it's like you're able to gain this slightly softer approach to the extent of your passion and so it's allowing you this really grounded approach that is honoring of your energy of those around you it's uplifting um really gorgeous but yeah the Im the image of the phoenix was so strong some of you are working out like I i'm seeing like sweating's helping with this transition like you're just like sweating it out and you're just it's like helping with that transition of the physical body because your spirit's already there uh yeah I'm hearing like hurt and healer, like someone, it's like you've gone from hurt to healed. So now you're the healer. Reach for the stars and you really are, you're setting your sights high, Aries, and it's like not letting others hold you back. If there is that like sense of jealousy or, you know, others, you know, feeling like, well, why are you moving location or why are you doing, you know, questioning your self-worth even, it's like you're just like, um, because that's what I want to do. <laughs> You're reaching for the stars and it's like nothing's holding you back. You are not alone. And I think that that's been a really beautiful sense as well, this reconnection with community. Um, I'm seeing something to do with like your right foot. Like it's like healing, healing the right foot, you know, sending loving energy to your right foot, bless. And you know, it's also it's like putting that right foot forward, you know? And so for some of you, some of you are literally like healing skin, so you're like taking vitamins for it. But you know, for others of you, it's like putting that right foot forward, you know, standing in your strength and in any situation, you know, you can always just pop your right foot out just a fraction and just sort of really like put your attention and your love into that right foot and be like, yeah, you know, it feels very grounded. It's sort of like, yeah, Aries is here. I love this. The world card. Things turning in your favor. 444 on the screen. This is luck. This is brand new beginnings, Aries. And you got the 
high priestess. There you are. You know, it's like with this new wisdom, this new knowledge, this is what you've been able to, you know, breathe easy knowing that there has been this like major transition and here you are rising, you know, with this high priestess divine knowledge. What you've been, it's like, it's, it's absolute mastery. It's beautiful, Aries. Wow. Gorgeous. I'm mean, hearing that song like, what would you do? Hold up. You know, so maybe that's someone like questioning you, but you're, you're trusting your intuition. And maybe that's someone asking you like, what would you do? Five of Wands. Yeah, you know, maybe there is this bit of turmoil. Someone's like, well, what are you, you know, it does feel like someone's like wanting to hold on to the past version of you, you know, so there's still this quarrel and it, I'm feeling this like pain in the heart, like restrictive feeling like, uh, you know, it's, it is that sort of situation where it's, hmm, it, you know, a bit of a quarrel, not seeing eye to eye, having to sort of battle it out a little bit, but knowing that this is going to transform into something better, it does feel like a bit of a blessing in disguise because of this knowledge that you have, Aries. Um, you know, you're able to see the truth of certain situations here. It feels like I'm hearing like, it's like you're coming out of like hibernation. There you are. Oh. The Emperor has arrived, Aries, look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is you, sweethearts, showing up in your reading with this strength, with this new sense of wisdom and the messenger coming in here. Oh my goodness, I love it. Yeah, you're. this is like the Phoenix Rising energy, Aries, amazing. And no holding back. You know, in here with the solar plexus chakra, you can, it's, it's interesting because it's actually colored green in this card because that's exactly what this transition's been all about. It's amazing. It's this strength of the solar plexus, which is like, I am, you know, it's like that little, you know, it's a bit of an ego in the solar plexus, but that's healthy. And, um, but it's green because it's connected to heart. It's not about I am and I, you know, like it's, it's literally like I am because I love, I, you know, it's like you've cleansed out any negativity, any self doubt, you know, you've, you've done the healing work, Aries, you've gone through those dark nights of the soul, you've listened to your intuition, you've taken, you know, those steps towards self care, towards self healing and spirits being here, you know, guiding you through every step of the way. And here you are, the emperor. That's amazing. Standing strong in the truth of who you are. Wow, I'm hearing, um, ah, oh, Ten of Pentacles. There it is, this just gets better and better. You're on the right track. This is a brand new beginning. This is a new work opportunity. I'm um, just feeling a new abundance, um, new relationship. Like you guys, you just feel like you're rolling, like things are going good. It's like there is a uh, cash flow coming in. Some of you are winning um, funds as well. Ten of Pentacles, very lucky. It sort of just feels like, you know, things are on your side. You've got the world card there as well. These are all coming out in the upright areas. I feel so excited for you. And I'm not surprised because when I tuned into your energy and seeing that Phoenix, it was like it was just like you know you so it was this <laughs> you know there you are gorgeous wow guys seeing the number uh 16 um, seven of wands, now's the time to dream. You know, what is it that you want to create? Um, you're ready for battle, battle. You're feeling like, because Aries, you do have insight. You know, you have trust. You have a really great intuition. So you are ready to battle if need be. You are taking precautions, you know, um, uh, within your own life of, you know, steps forward. Like you sort of have this pre-forward planning um, aspect. You're protecting your own heart a little bit here too, you know, Aries. And that's, you know, that's, that's good. Nine of Pentacles, you're working towards, this is beautiful, this is amazing. What you're working towards, Aries, is completely prosperous. It's very grounded, it's very much in um, symbiotic flow with nature, with, you know, the universe, the cosmos, this is gorgeous. So, and you're just shining and glowing, you've got the peacock here, the symbol of beauty, Aries. Doesn't get much better than this. Hearing somebody saying like nice tattoo on the bottom of Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you got some real good cash coming through. <laughs> All these pentacles. And so it's like, it can be literal money, you know, like cash flow, good luck, um, you know, 
whatever, whatever it is that you do, getting new opportunities, raises, bonuses, that sort of thing, or it's like you, you strike it lucky with a good idea, or there's like a new spark of inspiration that's going to be very prosperous for you. Let's draw your uh, spirit animal card here. You ever hear that song like, let's have a kiki, shut the doors tight. It's so like, I don't know, there's like this excitement, like a celebration now, like, let's have a kiki. This is that Scissor Sisters, right? Wow. Oh, whoa, there it is. 1011 on the screen. Whoa. Divine. Yeah, inflow. I don't know why I'm surprised when these things happen. I should not be surprised, but I'm always surprised. Man, like last reading for you guys, I saw a freaking mountain lion. You kidding me? <laughs> Aries, bless your magical, amazing selves. Ha! Huh, you're here, Aries. You're where are you? Where's the emperor? You know, you know. I've lost the card now. I'm hearing someone be like, "Please, like, I'm here." <laughs> You know, I am here. Divine masculine, divine feminine. That is gorgeous. Yeah, you are lucky. You are rising. Huh. Someone's saying, um, how, how can this luckiest day... What are you saying? It's sort of like a rhyme. Like, how can this luckiest day be for me? Like, you really can't... Can't believe your luck. Amazing. Oh, Aries. This is gorgeous. You take that moment of contemplation where you just look down and you're soaring and you're just like, gee, this is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm. You know, and that's sort of what's happened in the learning. It's sort of like, you're always this you're always flying free, but it's like you're learning to take these little moments of introspection, you know, that it's like you connect it to heart, you connect that fire, that passion to heart, and then you go, okay, and then you fly, you know, because you've learned this alchemy as the high priestess, you've learned how to work with the elements, and you, you know, yeah, this is so magical. I love you, Aries. Let's get into your passion reading. Um, it's just gorgeous. Uh, if you would like to stick around for the passion reading, please do so. Because uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And if this is where we part, Aries, then leave a comment or an emoji under the video. Because with all this luck on your side, it's probably going to be one of you guys that wins that crystal gift pack. Um, all you need to do is, yeah, leave that comment emoji. Check subscribe. Such an honor to have you here, you blessed souls. And um, yeah, let's find out all about love for you next. It's amazing. It's not like you have the love here. This like really like, it's like this hugging sensation. I'm seeing somebody like babysitting as well. Like you have a couple of kids to look after. Like you're like, all right, but you're doing such a good job. You're doing such a good job. Wow. Yeah, it's been some beautiful healing here and just like reconnecting to love and, you know, reigniting that sense of, of who you are. Bless you, Aries. Always an honor. Uh, let's get into the passion deck and I'll see you in a sec. Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is really exciting because this energy is just so glorious for you. There's been this moment of contemplation and now you're just flying free, Aries. It's beautiful. It's like, you know, you're going to be taking it step by step and then all of a sudden just flying and feeling good. Um... Yeah, let's start with the romance angels here. And the crystal sweethearts you can find in the store. I'm going to be listing these adorable little aura jade frogs soon as well. We've got the obsidian ox here because it is the year of the ox. And this is a beautiful crystal of protection and grounding. And these, of course, the jade is for heart chakra as well. Aries. Engagement. So, yeah, some of you have, like, you've realized that you 
want to be in this partnership. It feels like this decision has come from you, Aries, because there's been this time of contemplation. It's literally like you had this epiphany moment and recognizing like you're this creator. You know, you have these magical skills and you're not letting other people's um, opinions hold you back anymore. So, you know, it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This decision has come from you, from your heart attraction you're absolutely looking gorgeous venus is with you aries so people are just recognizing you they're just like admiring your beauty you just look absolutely gorgeous and reconciliation it says someone from your past is returning to your life well aries you know with venus it's just like you're looking so beautiful and feeling so good about life that you know of course they're gonna be coming back but let's see how you feel about that aries some of you are gonna be really happy and excited because maybe that's the decision you made was you know wow you know i i want to make you know i want a higher level of commitment here and so you're reconciling hmm let's see oh I got something stuck on my arm here. Okay. Um, <laughs> I want to draw a message from your twin flame soulmate love connection. It says sexual union. Yes, this is a very passionate, sensual energy. It says honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. And really, you know, this is happening because you're just glowing and it's like this beautiful union, like putting things aside for this reconciliation. Wow. And you got new beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Some of you are just flying free. You're following that inner peace, you know, that which lights you up. Stunning. Okay, let's go straight into the tarot here um, to see about the past energy. Look at who you are. You've learned this high priestess divine knowledge. This is so amazing. This is the new foundation because it wasn't always this way. You know, there was something that feel, you know, that feeling like someone could take the rug out at any minute or you just felt unsettled or, you know, it was sort of like there was an imbalance, but not anymore because now you've learned this beautiful alchemy. You hold the key here and you've learned so much in this time. Wow. The present energy, so you've got two cards here. Okay, so you've got the Knight of Pentacles and you've got the Devil in Reverse. So it is, you know, okay, so Devil in Reverse is you have overcome something that was holding you back because you're sticking strong with this High Priestess energy because you're flying free. You know, you want this, this beautiful sense of uplifted energy that's strong, that's bringing in those golden coins of pentacles, the new opportunity, the love and the light. So you really have conquered. This has been like an addiction or it's been like something that was holding you back. Some of you have left like a toxic relationship, you know, and here with this Knight of Pentacles, more pentacles. Somebody like, it's really like this golden opportunity. It feels quite delicious, quite mysterious, quite intriguing, but you're following your passion and that's what's driving you forward. I really do feel like this is a sense of, you know, you know, it's like you're taking energies or perspectives into account, but you're trusting your intuition. The other situation for Aries, straight away, the star. Yeah, so others, you know, it's like somebody's caught your eye. You know, there is this like cosmic connection between you guys. And people see you as the star, Aries. They love to, you know, see you perform in all that you do, whether you, you know, like to... I don't know, post really cool stories or, you know, you're just very active in the, um, you know, in your work life, you know, it's like people see you as a friend, someone they can trust, but somebody that's also really connected to cosmic knowledge and divine inspiration. So there is this obstacle of being, um, you know, tied to, uh, 
you know, in your head, in your thoughts of being tied to the past, like, oh, it couldn't change, you know, it's always going to be that way because, you know, that's the obstacle is moving from head to heart. And that's really what has happened, you know, in this transition of, of gaining this gorgeous high priestess energy, because, you know, this was an obstacle. And look, once we cross a hurdle, it's like it can still, you know, come back up, but it's like it just gets you, you become more powerful each time around and you really are you know choosing that path of love life and faith it really feels like your faith has grown so strong this time Aries so the outcome here ace of pentacles more coins all right guys <laughs> it's a golden opportunity you guys got this last time too I'm sure this is really gorgeous this just feels like this heart to heart passionate connection it feels very abundant you feel very lucky you know it's a very lucky new beginning is what this is Aries really beautiful because you've overcome this energy from the mind to the heart and connecting to inner peace and this beautiful cosmic knowledge wow let's draw a message here from your connection Aries what does Aries love connection have to say yeah I want you in my life. They are just, you know, they see, you know, you're shining, you're beautiful, you know, so they, I mean, who doesn't want Aries in their life? Come on. <laughs> Let's see, what else have we got? It says, I don't understand what you see in me. Wow, Aries. You know, I feel like they feel very lucky. I feel like you really light up their life, you know. Um, so this one stayed in the deck, but it didn't. Um, come out. So this is what they're holding close to their chest. Thinking of you makes my soul happy. So that's really beautiful. Maybe that's something they haven't told you, but it's definitely an energy that is there. And then we got, I feel like you're better off without me. So these might be the words they're saying, but at the same time, they're thinking this. And I am so confused why it is like this now. I'm suddenly hearing laughter. Like, it's like this situation is being healed through laughter. It's like so confused. Like, I don't know why it's like this right now. It's sort of like, but being in your mind, like, like it doesn't bring about results. And so I really hear so much laughter because you guys have this cosmic connection. It's like you might just be driving along and then all of a sudden you just know that you're connecting. And so you just start laughing because you're like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Or I feel like somebody is just like, I don't know. I'm hearing like cheeky, like someone thinks you're really cheeky. <laughs> um, I'm trying to grow spiritually to meet you where you are. Yeah, because they see, you know, with this star energy, you know, and they recognize that you have these divine downloads that you've gone through such amazing healing that you know it's like you they you inspire them Aries and so to connect with you they really are trying you know their best to, to also um you know go from mind into heart and to you know use this beautiful alchemy that you're really portraying wow this just flew did you see that my heart longs for you and this energy was just like ah it was like the card felt like it was longing in itself you know their heart is just you know it's connected and it's just like oh my goodness oh, that is really beautiful Aries, if you have a message for spirit hold it in your heart in your mind's eye and let us draw a card right now answer for Aries you go. It says no need to worry. Yeah, this really is a message of, you know, coming out of the mind and going into heart. That's truly what this is, is, you know, recognizing that power of what you've been able to transform this beautiful energy and to continue with that flow. I want to draw one more here. Super flying. It says within the next few months. So you're going to be noticing, I think, this windfall, this, you know, this just beautiful, uh, you know, you're going to recognize that you are the phoenix. If you don't already, it's definitely happening within the next few months. Like, what are we? Like June. So 
you know, for your birthday, April, May, June, definitely by June, yeah, and I feel like you're just going to really see this transformation in yourself, and it's coming from, you know, within through this beautiful gift of spiritual healing that has occurred for you, and before you know it, you're just, you know, it's a whole new timeline, you feel, you feel alive, you feel, it's just, ugh, it's really beautiful. Wow, yeah, that's amazing, Aries. All right, darlings, well, I think that's it. Do you guys want any more messages? Let's see what the top of the deck here. Honeymoon, <laughs> having some fun together, dreaming about the time that you're going to have together. I love it. And one more message from here. It says, I denied my feelings for you and <laughs> I have loved you all along. Okay, one more, one more heart. I just, you know, it's just so beautiful. Why would I want to, you know, <laughs> that's so lovely. Okay, Aries, this is it. It says, only time will tell. And 11.22 on the screen. Oh, this is definitely a beautiful divine union. This one fell off the deck, so let's read it. I dream about being close to you. Bless you, Aries. Have a gorgeous month and a happy, happy birthday. Sending you big cosmic hugs. I love you, Aries. Happy birthday. I'll see you soon. Ciao for now.